Hello everyone, my name is Ashraf Chaz. Welcome back to another One Piece card game video. And today I have a very special guest with me. He is a prominent uh, member of the community on the One Piece card game Discord. I have here with me none other than the one and only Lord D Buggy. Say hello, man. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, minasan, bonito di tokanido. Oh my god. Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> That's such hello, a perfect people. voice. Hello, hello, my good sir. So, Buggy has uh, graciously joined me today to talk about some of the blue cards that have just been revealed on the Japanese Twitter page, as well as some leaked card. It's a, there's a leak specific Mihawk card that Ooh. we'll be talking about later on. And so we're just going to be talking about the card, seeing what works and see what's good. And because Buggy has been playing a lot of games on Untap, I thought, what a better person to ask than him. So let's, uh, are you excited, man? Of course, I'm excited <laughs> and honored to be here and be part of the community. Thank you so and much. I'll give, I'll give the people something that is going to shock the world. Ooh. It's gonna start the world. But my friend here, Taz, go ahead, keep keep on talking. I wanna interrupt the best of the best here. Hey, no, no, no. I thank you so much, man, for you know, always supporting the videos and your kind words as usual. So, you know, if you enjoy uh this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing if you can. And also, uh do you wanna tell them where they can find you on Twitch? Because I know you are planning to do some videos there. Yes, buggy D Clown. Buggy D Clown. L O W. Yes. I will leave a link to his Twitch channel in the description below so you can check him out there. He's playing to do uh, box openings, talking about the cards as well. So thank you so much, Buggy. And without further ado, mm -hmm. let's get into the cards. So first up, we have uh, from the blue starter deck, uh, Love Love Beam. Uh, it's an event card. It costs two, part of the seven Warlords of the Sea and Kuja Pirates. So it has counter, your leader or up to one of your character gains 4,000 power for the duration of the battle. Then if you have three or less cards in your hand, draw one. So Mr. Buggy, what do you think about this card? What are your thoughts about them? First of all, beautiful card, amazing card. I adore the card to the point that I found a nasty combo. Let's just say they're gonna swing with the leader. Uh, let's just say Kaido, it will be a seven. What you're gonna do, you're gonna block with the crocodile from the structure deck and you're gonna pay to, to love love beam and it's gonna put it to a, if I'm not mistaken, a nine. Ooh. You draw one card, but then you're gonna resolve crocodile's effect and you're gonna ban something down to the bottom of the deck either a sanji a blocker something that is annoying you oh yeah and that is I found so it, good i found it ridiculous because i've been playing against kaidos and luffy's i know how to go around and yes kaidos have been a bit of annoying because it's gonna burn you but i've been playing multiple tcg games let's just say an example magic the gathering uh, DVC Pokemon, you don't waste your resources, you're just gonna take it. But that combo specifically, it's amazing. That's why I love, love, love being to the point that I, if it's if it's come to the booster pack foil, I want four of it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, it looks. I think it will look really good in foil. So the crocodile yes. card that uh, Mr. Buggy was talking about is just to remind everyone again it costs five six thousand power with a special attribute uh, and it has blocker and the ability is dawn one when blocking we turn up to one cost two or lower character to the bottom of the deck so what he said was definitely true like you pump up this blocker from the starter deck and you as long as there's one dawn attached to it you can just return one two cost or lower so like sanji's and what like i guess sheep's head from the kaido starter deck but yeah there's, there's so many targets right now that's two costs or lower and working with crocodile working with uh the love love beam and it lets you draw a card if you have if you're using like a couple of them that's that's actually really good i like that it replaces itself um if you have three or less cards in your hand and four thousand power is actually quite good don't you think amazing right 
Ah oh, man, because like I've been playing with the Kaido starter deck, and uh, I I felt like Blast Breath. Even though you have to dawn minus one, like that that four thousand power boost in certain situations is like it's really necessary because your opponents are attacking for like eight nine thousand, and you need that extra four thousand plus a couple of counters to protect you. And this card, you know, it does get uh it does get to that four thousand power stat line, although it costs two. But it replaces itself, so yeah. It's, I think it's a really, it's a solid, solid card. Definitely have like a play set of it in your deck. It's great, man. <laughs> All right. So the next card that we want to look at today is Boa Hancock herself. Uh, she costs three, has one thousand power with a special attribute. Part of the Seven Warlords of the Sea and Kuja Pirates. Uh, it has counter one thousand. It has blocker, but the most important thing is it has trigger. Play this card. So what are your thoughts about Boa Hancock as of now? two things people are sleeping on her and i've been winning around her because when people swing there's a 60 percent chance that she's in your life so i was playing against kid and with another player he swung and i took it and boom bought handcuff for free didn't right. have to pay nothing he swings with uh with Lock the five cost, mm -hmm. another handcuff. So that's two blockers in the field. People are saying, Oh, it's bad, it's three cost. Okay, like I said again, it's good. Either it could be three cost, but it will help you around the, the, the game. Because if you look around your opponent and you play your cards well, she is really good. Amazing card. Best yeah. blocker ever. I do think that, um, yeah, if this card is. Uh, reveal from your life and you play it for free you have an additional blocker and you can just defend against your opponent's attacks that's like the best place where boa should be at i mean like in your life and there's always a chance if you have four boa hancocks in your deck you'll definitely there is a non-zero <laughs> chance that you will see her in your life which is great that's where you want to see her and even if it's in your hand and you don't want to play her out uh, because she's three cards i mean she's a blocker that's just meant to take an attack and just poof die she's the sacrificial fodder i would say similar to like chopper but given that she yeah. has counter 1000 she will still have a use even if she's in your hand so it's not like a dead card even either, either way like you can still play her out if you if you have the i mean if it, you have a turn where you have extra resources you'll be like yeah i can play uh war hancock mm -hmm. out and you know make her a blocker or you can just keep in your hand and if it's in your life even better so like yeah she's a wonderful card and i think you're right uh based on your testing people have been sleeping on her and not playing around the fact that she might be in one of your lives right mm -hmm. yeah i've seen people um paying like uh brachio paying six and popping her instead of the other blockers that are on the field people are using their kings to pop her i'm like okay i got more blockers yeah she did her job <laughs> Yeah, in that case, like, yeah, she really did her job. She's like the target, you know, like all of our male affection. <laughs> She's also the target of every <laughs> event card out there. <laughs> but yeah, I think she's a solid card. Uh, definitely, um, if you're playing against a blue deck, you have to respect the fact that she might be in your opponent's life and you cannot like have an all-in play where you just attack in and not expect to see a Boa Hancock. So like definitely against the blue deck, it's something to consider, definitely. All right, the next card that we have here is Basil Harkins. He is uh, from the green starter deck. He's part of the uh, Supernova or like the worst generation and Hawkins Pirates. It costs five, mm -hmm. has 6,000 power and with the slasher attribute. And his ability is Dawn 1, having the one Dawn attached to him. Once per turn, during a turn, if this character battle with an opponent's character, set this character to active. So, Mr. Buggy, Oof, what do you think about this card? Nasty, nasty card. <laughs> <laughs> nasty card indeed. That, that re yeah, that reminds me to the blockers from, from the Dragon Ball game. It was like, oh, I block, I reached the nest. That's the Vegeta of the DVS game. Oh, okay. And when I saw it, I'm like, okay. And here, I'm going to get a shout out to Jack and Leon for the testing that we did with the killer deck. Now here's the thing that I'm gonna tell people, and if I see this deck of kid as Aqua Force from Vanguard, 
multiple attacks. Multiple attacks, right? Yeah, feels like that's the focus yeah. for the green deck. Just multiple attacks per turn, just trying to hit as many things as you can. And yeah, with mm -hmm. Hawkins, like let's say your character, like if Hawkins is on your field, your opponent has to kind of be careful about how much they attack. Uh, on your on his turn because on the other turn sorry because if Hawkins ever has like multiple dawns attached to it, he needs one for the ability to be active so he's like definitely yeah. gonna be like 7k attack and he can mostly yeah yeah he can like just kill multiple threats on your opponent's side of the field like in just one turn it's like crazy it's crazy good mm. he's gonna he's gonna waste your the opponent's resources in the hand by far that's true and also like a cornerstone case scenario if like let's say your opponent has zero life left and he has a blocker you just attack with hawkins and if he's blocked if he's forced to block it and your hawkins will still be active after that because it does count as you yeah. battling an opponent's character right and mm -hmm. then and then you can that swing again fun. so like and there's a lot of cases where hawkins is very good in uh, like yeah. just having multiple attacks and he works re really well with the green deck i i really like the green deck man <laughs> seems I strong I, people are yeah people are sleeping i know luffy and kind of but people are sleeping on the other two yeah and from what we've seen i think both decks are equally like great and i can't wait to see more of the blue cards for sure but mm -hmm. green solid cards all around man let's talk about the last card uh for this video and it is actually a really good card this card was leaked by a fellow member of the discord uh, discord group it's uh actually leaked from like a poster from from what i've seen and it is none yeah. other than dracul mihawk the the goat himself um <laughs> <laughs> so mihawk is four costs uh, 5000 power with the slasher attribute part of the seven wallows of the sea and his ability is dawn one when attacking draw two cards then discard two cards from your hand and it has counter plus 2000 mr buggy what do you think about this card because i know you 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 yeah. have thought, thoughts about this you're gonna and you'll see why <laughs> this card is draw to discard too sure you're gonna discard two cards that are not helping you that they're not counters and it's when you're attacking so it's really good cool. let's just say uh, i pay four and uh, pass my turn then my opponent plays something but he didn't attack so i'll so, so i'll go again play two dons play uh put the mihawk with a uh, 7k swung for leader or something that is annoying me i'll draw two cards that i might need and this card two cards that i didn't need it at all in the game that I was playing with a fellow Discord member, he's a Luffy player. Mm -hmm. He was, <laughs> and I repeat, he was trying to kill the Mihawk in four turns, and I keep the Mihawk alive for those four turns, and I was drawing like crazy to the point that when he swung for to swing for victory, I play, thanks to the Mihawk, I play Love Love Bing twice. Oh my god, so good. Yeah. Thanks to Mihawk. Thanks to Mihawk. So yeah, I, I have to agree. Drawing two and discarding two is a strong ability. Like yeah, like you said, like you draw two cards that you might need and you just discard two cards that you might not possibly need. For example, like as of now, we don't know if we can play uh, a new stage card to replace your old one to kind of use the effect again. So those stage cards that are in your hand, they're probably like dead. Like they're dead cards essentially. So this way yeah. with Mihawk, you can just discard the stage cards. You can discard like cards with no counters on it because you, you might not need them. And just draw your, your love beams. Easy. <laughs> it's so good. And yeah, like I think it, it is a card that you have to respect. And if you can remove it, uh, this is definitely a card that you should target first because letting your opponent draw two cards every single turn when they attack is definitely, definitely too strong to kind of let that happen. And if he has multiple Mihawks on the field, you can draw like so many cards. You can get everything that you need in your hand and just get ready either like with counters, with like your love beams and it's it's just crazy good and the fact that he has counter 2000 on it and this card like is let me just double check this card's a common i i like i was ah. 
think yes. this, this yeah, should have is. been a rare, right? This is so good. They're disrespecting my Mihawk. <laughs> uh, true, true. Mihawk, you know what? Mihawk's the GOAT. He is like the strongest uh, sportsman as of right now. So having, having him have a strong ability like this is, is definitely on the money. So yeah, I think this card is a crazy man. What, what like any any last oh. thoughts on this card? What do you think? They're sleeping on the goat. <laughs> You're sleeping on the goat, man. It's crazy. So if this if okay if Mihawk if there's only two Mihawks in the blue starter deck, uh, definitely get two starter decks so you can get a playset of Mihawk. This card is too powerful to ignore. I think it is one of the strongest cards that we've seen as of now. Uh, there's there's a lot of different powerful cards, but I think Mihawk is definitely one of the contenders for the strongest card that we've seen just due to its ability alone. And I'm I can't wait to see what players do with them. I mean, like I really am excited for the blue deck. All right, so Ooh. I think we've talked about all the cards, all the new cards that have been revealed so far. Thank you so much, Mr. Lord Debuggy, for uh, joining me on this uh, on this video. Thank you so much, my my kind sir. No worries, and I'll I'll be a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna use my vision hockey, and I'm gonna give you a sm small spoiler, but I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay. The next card is gonna be green or blue, but for blue, it's gonna be a Chichi Wukai. Ooh, will it be a? It's gonna be Chichi. Will it be a new Chichi Wukai, for example, like Buggy? It could be Don Flamingo. Oh, I wish, but it could be <laughs> Don Flamingo. Yeah. It could be Jim Jimbe. I know Jimbe is a Chichi Wukai. It may be red, but he counts as a Chichi Wukai. That's true. That's or, true. Or we could have. Bartolomeo Kum. Oh, I would love to see uh, a card of him. I mean, we've seen the artwork of him, but we've not seen a card yes. with effect from him. So that would be quite cool. So hopefully we get to see uh, a, a Kuma card like in the Shichibukai deck. I don't know. I think it would be quite cool. Though I would really love to see the Flamingo as well. You know, um, as a leader? Yes. As a leader, as a character card. He's just too awesome to not have a leader card. <laughs> Similar with Buggy, I think definitely in the first set or maybe in the coming set, we'll definitely have uh, leader cards uh, that have uh, Doflamingo or Buggy on them and I'm really excited. I know for a fact that if we have a Buggy leader, I'll make another video and I'll definitely invite you on yet again to just talk strategy. Uh, definitely we're going to make that happen, man. I'm really excited. Oh, trust me. Trust me, because right now it's June the 11th. I, Buggy the Clown, Lord Buggy, Lord Buggy self-proclaim, I'm gonna be the best Chichibukai player, and nobody's gonna stop my reign. I believe you, man. That's, I am excited <laughs> to see your your conquest with the Chichibukai deck. I'm really excited. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much, Mr. Lord Debuggy, for uh, helping me out with some You're of welcome. these cards because uh, you definitely have more games than I do on Untap uh, with the <laughs> One Piece card game. I've only been jamming with the Kaido and uh, the Luffy starter deck, so I've, I've not really experienced the blue and green gameplay. So thank you so much for helping me with this uh, with this video. Always, my friend, and remember, my people. Like and subscribe this video. My man Chaz is the best. Oh my the dude. Hawkins, basic Hawkins is the best. Every YouTuber here Hawkins is good. are doing their best. I just <laughs> yeah, honestly I really love the fact that you know a lot of the community members are making videos. It's not just me that's like basically Hawkins, Kupo Magic, mm -hmm. even Big News Stick Man. Uh, he's been streaming a lot, so check out his gameplay on his Twitch as well. And yeah, everyone's yes. just doing a wonderful job. Yeah, thank you so much, man, yet again for being on the video. I re I really do appreciate uh, your thoughts on the no cards that we've talked about. And to the rest of you always that's it from us for today and if you enjoyed this video please consider giving a like and subscribing if you can and yeah till the next time i'll see you guys in the next one please take care of yourselves bye yo minasan minasan yo sayonara